Capricorn, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for December 8th to the 15th, 2020. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's an honor to have you here at our channel, The Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, I do daily and weekly horoscope updates for your love and your life through the tarot uh, every day and every week. So if you want those continued updates and to join the Soul family, we'd love to have you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, we'd love to have you as part of the Soul family. And if you find this video impactful, do me a favor, hit that like button. It helps this channel and this video grow so we can guide more Capricorns and more people. All right, so Capricorn, let's go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to start with a couple things. One, I'm going to open the ceremony. And if you're new here, the way I work is I channel my guides, your guides, my angels, your angels from the collective to help give guidance for what you need to hear in this week specifically. We're going to start off with an oracle, a channeled oracle reading so you can get those direct messages from source for your love or your life. And then we're going to hit the channel tarot reading. Now, if you're here for a relationship, a situationship, a person, or you just want clarity in your situation, this is probably where it's going to come through in the second part of the reading. Okay? Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay? I'm going to open the ceremony. Last thing I'll say is if you resonate with this reading, Capricorns, and you want to go further, there will be an extended reading in the description box below. So if you want to know about how your person feels about you, what they think of you, where they're at in life, what they're dealing with, and also what the universe has to say about this divine union in particular, um, that will all be in the extended reading, so you can check that out, okay? Without further ado, let's open the ceremony. Whew. Calling in my guides, angels, ancestors, loved ones, masters, and wise ones, and officially opening this ceremony. Also those from the collective sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus rising for December 8th through the 15th, 2020. Spirit, please allow me to guide and to channel for the highest possible good of the collective sign of Capricorn for their week ahead. Thank you so much. The ceremony is now open. And so it is. All right. Let's get a quick shuffle here for this oracle. We are using the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck this week. And uh, it has been... One of my favorite decks to use for channeling here. A lot of ancient messages coming through. As I'm shuffling here, Capricorns, a quick reminder if you haven't heard already, um, I do have new YouTube memberships that just came out. And so the whole purpose of that is if you want to be a paid member, exclusive paid member of this channel, um, uh, you can get to learn how to do astrology, how to read your own birth chart with my style, how to channel, how to uh, tap into your intuition, and also how to read tarot. So if you are a light worker and looking to learn how to do these things for yourself and or for clients, um, I will have weekly lessons if you do uh, decide to join this member, this channel as a paid member. Also, um, on the further later tiers, I'll be teaching how to build a spiritual-based business and to monetize your passion uh, through YouTube. Okay, So if you're interested, click that join button right next to the subscribe button. We'd love to have you as well as a paid member. First card up is Thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder strikes a little bit uh, after the lightning here. Um, so I feel like there might be some repercussions or some follow-up from something that's happened or happening currently. Some underworkings of a situation that's coming up to light to bear. Um, change as well and migration in and to a situation and movement towards a situation as well with the buffalo and the herds here in the sky. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do. I definitely feel like change is in the air. Migration is in the air. Could be moving somewhere, uh, mentally, spiritually, physically, in all sorts of ways. Um, but I feel destiny is calling. Okay, you can see like these buffalo are moving in a headed direction. It's like their destiny is calling them forth, and I feel like that's kind of where you're at, Capricorn. Is like you feel the calling from destiny. You're moving towards it uh, very quickly. Beauty way is here as well. Um, interesting. Interesting. It's almost like because the Thunder card is moving towards this beauty way. So it's almost like you're being called towards something beautiful in your life or something that's been appealing to you or drawing you in or kind of alluring you in some way, uh, shape or form. It's also the rebirth of something uh, that's potentially going on in your life. So it's like you're being drawn towards something because there's a potential rebirth and a brand new energy emanating from it that is irresistible to you, I feel. The Sun card came out. Yeah, so I definitely feel like something is drawing you in here, Capricorn. Something you're moving towards that has a lot of light, a lot of brightness, a lot of um, compassion, empathy, wisdom. There's something or someone here that you're moving towards 
uh, that shines very brightly here. This could also be you shining brightly as well as you move towards your destiny um, and utilizing the power of the sun. The circle here, uh, interesting. So I feel like you, um, so there's, mm, there's a couple of things that came to me all at once. One is the, the, the full completion of a certain cycle, okay, coming into a full completion here this week. But I also could feel like it's many people involved in and around your situation that are um, kind of, kind of, uh, I'm not getting the most positive feelings, honestly. I'm getting kind of like a distraction energy, I'm getting kind of like a deterring energy. I'm getting kind of like an involvement energy into your life, okay? It's almost like, you see, if you are this person emanating the sun or this is someone in your life, there's like multiple multiple forces here that are all trying to like get into this sun energy, okay? So this very well could be people like being drawn to you as well because you're just shining so damn bright around um, in this new way. Look at the rainbow card too. So yeah, you're definitely shining in a new way, Capricorn. I think you're literally emanating a, a new different energy and I feel like people are being attracted to it here. Soul retrieval and the tree of life. Okay. So you might have been going through some healing or some renewal, some recultivation of energy from the earth. I mean, you are an earth sign here, so it makes sense. Um, healing, renewal, rejuvenation, a new perspective, a new way of enlightenment or knowledge that came through. Just a really, um, a re-steadying of your process and of your being, interestingly. Soul retrieval comes out too. So definitely the word healing comes to mind. Um, healing, a new perspective shift something you realized from your past that was affecting you now, and something you uncovered and released that allowed you to really shine brightly to the world and to attract uh, others into your life who you may or may not want that attention from. Okay, but really what I'm getting is just a, a really big shift in your energy, in your body, in your mind, in your emotions, your spirituality. Something's allowing you to really come out into the world and to shine much greater than you were before, potentially because of a healing and a... And a a realization of something from your past that may have been affecting you or slowing you down. Okay, on the bottom of the deck we have the rainbow card, which is, again, you appearing to the world in a whole new way. You coming out in a way that's never been seen or witnessed before, uh, that's maybe considered unusual, but is also extraordinary because it's revolutionary. Okay, uh, beating to the march of your own drum, not caring really what else, uh, what anyone else thinks <clears throat> or feels. So interesting start to the reading, Capricorns. Exciting start to the reading. Um, you know, this this time right now in December and even November and this year, I mean, it, it's a really month leading up to these lunar this lunar eclipse is massive changes, massive growth, massive realizations on a day to day basis. I mean, so not surprised here that you're going through some big shifts in your life because everyone is, but you especially have gone through a lot of healing. I feel. All right, let's get some channel tarot readings here. Beautiful. I was just doing a tarot, the week one tarot lesson on my uh, uh, YouTube and Patreon page. So if you're interested in checking that out, learning how to read the tarot, go check out the YouTube memberships. Click that join button below. We'd love to have you. Learning how to use the tarot. Whoa. Got some cards popping out here. Got some cards popping out. Okay. Let's go ahead and show you what's going on. We have the Sun card reversed and the Two of Cups. All right. So again, I don't typically read reversals. Again, this is looking like it's straight to you, but it's it's reversed per my angle. Um, so the Sun card reversed and the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. A little bit of conflicting messages here. Yeah. So, yeah, Spirit is saying to leave it reverse too. So it's definitely, so there might be some conflict going on within you as to whether or not you're ready to approach a certain someone in a situation and to have this relationship, this union, this reconciliation, this partnership, whatever this is for you. This is most definitely, these two cards for me in this deck are like, very important divine soul connection cards. If you're in a love relationship, if not, it's someone very important to you in your life. It could be a family member, 
close friend, etc. But this is someone here um, that you're involved with in some way, shape, or form. Now, it in the reverse tells me that maybe you're not quite ready, okay, to embrace or to move forward with or to have this partnership, this union, this reconciliation that's reversed here. Meaning there might be a little bit of hesitancy here on the sun card part. A little bit of hesitancy, a little bit of apprehension here I'm feeling, um, a little bit of shyness potentially, okay? But ultimately the two of cups is standing out to me as something that you uh, know about or you're aware of, the importance of this connection, the deepness, the depths of this connection and the desire around it, okay? But I'm feeling like you may not quite fully be ready. Someone's not ready here to fully embrace this or to come back into it or to come into it in the first place, okay? There's something not quite fully there yet. The full card, Strength, Seven of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Interesting, Capricorn, interesting. Yeah, okay. So look at the strength card pops up underneath the sun card. So as I was kind of intuiting, um, someone here is trying to build up the courage and the strength to be able to ex exist in this relationship again or to come forth in this relationship again. You can see upright, the woman here, some one of the people is coming over and apologizing and saying, are kind of like, oh, you know, will you take me in this state? You know, forgive me, I've sinned, or whatever it is she's doing. But she's kind of remorseful, you know, maybe regretful. She knows now the truth that she didn't see before, something like that. In the reverse here, it says that someone here is trying to develop the courage to be able to come forth and to admit these things that they may have been holding back. Okay, could be you or your person. Two of Cups with the Seven of Cups. So, yeah, interesting. A little bit of confusion here on your part, Capricorns, when it comes to love. Maybe multiple options appearing in your life. More options than one. Um, seven of Cups for me is, yes, multiple cups. And a little bit of glory there. A little bit of enjoyment. But not something that's able to facilitate a divine union. You might be trying to figure out who your person is. Or who the right person is, right? Or who that divine person is. Also, this could signify that you already know who that person is. Yet, you're still kind of considering or open to other options for whatever reason here. All right, or you may be confused about this. There may be confusion coming into trying to decide who your person actually is and if they really are your person. Okay, um, the Fool card and the Knight of Cups are here too. So I do feel like maybe you are trying to, uh, yeah, I feel like you're trying to establish a new beginning. You're trying to take a little bit of a new path, a new journey, a leap of faith, maybe walking away from a situation. Maybe there's a person or situation here that you're wanting a fresh start with, but you're not quite fully ready yet. Um, yeah, I'm actually feeling that a little bit, uh, quite a bit actually. So I feel like there's a situation here, you might still have some confusion, or you might still be a little apprehensive, or you might still be trying to choose, or there might be multiple options. But either way, you're trying to walk, you're trying to, you're trying to start this new beginning, this new chapter when it comes to love. All right, but you're also trying to develop the courage and the strength to move forward with a certain person. I feel there's a certain person here that maybe you have your intentions set around that you might be intimidated by. Knight of Swords here. This card is always associated with, for me, the ego, holding up the ego or the mind, logical mind over the heart. So this could be you trapped in the mind a little bit around this decision, around how you want to present yourself to this person, around how you're presenting yourself to people in general. Pair this up with the Knight of Cups, okay? Um, the Knight of Cups is all about love, but it's kind of a non-committal love uh, affair kind of thing, right? So not someone who's really seriously ready to commit or to move in to something or to be serious about something. So I feel like Capricorn, if I'm on here, if I'm honest, you know, I feel like maybe you have a little bit of hesitancy around this partnership. Maybe you know who this person is, but you're a little hesitant to engage with it fully at this time for whatever reason. And instead you're trying to kind of walk a new path or walk a different path somewhere else, uh, somewhere else that's not involved in this committed relationship. Okay. Even though I feel that you do know that 
there's there is a union here. There is a person, uh, your beloved here. The sun and the moon is the beloved relationship. Okay. But for whatever reason, I do feel that this is your energy for whatever reason. You know, it could be reversed if you're not resonating, but um, this could be you maybe a little a little trapped in the in the mind or in the logic and in kind of a non committal way appearing in the ways of love and logic here um, okay so not really seriously ready to come into something or to uh, move forward with something page of wands yeah so maybe you're still trying to look for new horizons uh, you're still trying to look uh, maybe at other kind of pastures beyond all right you're trying to you're trying to kind of take that new path um, see what else is out there now the tower card shows up underneath the strength and the sun card so yeah I kind of feel Capricorn like you're gonna things are gonna crumble around you a little bit and you might be in for a little bit of a surprise this week because this is in the row of the present when it comes to this union so you might have a breakthrough when it comes to this partnership or this person or within yourself that kind of helps you to move forward uh, maybe in a different way towards it. Yeah, Nine of Wands tells me this shift may happen within yourself, but I still don't feel you're quite fully ready or wanting to move forward with it. Yeah, you might be still dealing with some, be still dealing with some, uh, some hurt, some pain. Maybe it's abandonment issues that are coming up. Okay, could be just uh, issues from the past, but something here hurts you in a way that kept you in your mind is affecting you so you're not able to access your full heart or emotions here in around the situation and i feel like this has to be healed before you can progress into this clearly a union up here okay and that's kind of keeping you in this place of confusion about love in this place of looking for different pastures of being non-committal with the knight of uh, cups wow the ten of cups shows up here okay so this is great news so um I feel like this is on your heart deep down inside, yet for whatever reason you're not, you haven't presented yourself as serious about it yet. But I feel like you have that in your desire, right? Knight of Cups is, you know, someone who wants to present love, but isn't ready to go all the way, the full distance of the Ten of Cups. But you have it in your intention, you have it in your heart here, clearly, for someone in a union, but it's just not, what I'm getting is it's just not there yet it's just not ready yet for whatever reason six of swords okay so this was all kind of attempts to move on from the past or maybe the past hurt you in some way or affected you in some way that caused you to just want to take a new path and just kind of clear steer clear from it four pentacles yeah so it could be dealing with finances it could be some financial issues coming in your life here Capricorn or financial instability or some feelings of lack or scarcity that uh, something shifts here and really causes you, I feel, to change perspectives uh, in life. Like something financially related happens or breaks down or, or shifts for you. Uh, the Hierophant, wow. This could be your person here, someone who guides others, but I feel like they're on your mind. Or this could be someone you go to see for help or guidance in and around a situation as well. Page of Swords, yeah, there's that, see? Look, there's, there's that kind of stubborn energy right Capricorn stubborn logical energy trying to move trying to go forward with the direction of the mind and not the heart of the emotions so I feel like you're kind of you know I hate to say this with all the love in the world Capricorns kind of going back and forth between the heart and the mind kind of going in the heart a little bit entering but then coming right back out in the mind right and kind of seeing things logically but again the three of Pentacles ten of cups this is a you, you want a true resolution a partnership a union here right you want a, a beautiful happy life with someone here uh, to, to create and cultivate uh, by their side but for whatever reason there might be a little bit of hesitancy fear pain healing still needed for this uh, for this union to happen if you are looking to get into a union uh, there's also clearly a need to move on from the past maybe to forgive to move forward forgive but not but not forget but to forgive this uh, situation for whatever may have happened in the past. Also, there's definitely need to recognize financially how that's affecting you in your love life, okay? If these feelings of not having enough financially or your security not being said is affecting your ability to 
want to be in or able to be in a partnership. That might be something holding you back a little bit. The Hierophant here, hmm. hmm. This is an interesting card here that pops up. This is clearly someone guiding. I'm not I'm not really getting it. Your, it could be your person, like someone who's here to help guide. I'm not really getting that. Um, I'm kind of getting you might turn to someone to help you or to give you some guidance around the situation, to give you some clarity or to help you heal, to help you progress. I, I am feeling that much more strongly. Like someone who's who's who you respect, who you look up to, who's able to share some wisdom or insight with you around either it could be finances, it could be in love or emotions, but some mentor here or figure that uh, you look to to help you kind of clear this up a little bit or get to get more clear in and around the situation. Final outcome card is the Nine of Cups. Beautiful energy here. So overall, this is leading towards a beautiful life, a beautiful situation, a beautiful outcome and your wish fulfillment. Whatever it is you're wishing right now, I do feel it's up here, this Two of Cups, this union, okay, this partnership, but uh, a union, a reconciliation, uh, uh, you know, a, a friendship, a rebonded friendship, you know, a partnership. This is overall outcome energy, Nine of Cups popped out. So it's 100% possible, but there is some, there's a big shift here that's going to happen this week, I feel, Capricorn, that's going to kind of change the situation and it's no mistake there's a lot of astrological transits coming up that are affecting all of us in big big ways bottom of the deck is the five of wands so um yeah yeah there might be a sacrifice here that's taking place in some area of your life in order to create room for new growth and realizations you also might feel a little bound by a situation or trapped by a situation unable to move forward uh, without the proper clarity. So I feel you might be going to someone for that clarity here. All right, let's get uh, three more final outcome cards for the sign of Capricorn, so Venus rising. King of Swords, interesting. Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, interesting. And the High Priestess is here. Well, that's interesting. So we do have a match here with the Hierophant and the High Priestess. This could be you. This could be who you're stepping up into, someone who is intuitive, open to their heart, empathic, compassionate, okay, the divine feminine energy here. So this could be very well your person, actually, who's here to help guide others in the world and who you might, you know, they might be doing their work here and you might be a little bit like, oh, you know, uh, you know, maybe even intimidated a little bit by, by how powerful they've become or how powerful they are in general. But the overall uh, final outcome here is King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords. So um, I do feel it's a good time for you to have some boundaries up, Capricorn. Chances are you're going to have other people in your life that are wanting to be involved or to, to utilize your energy or to take some of your energy. And it's good to have that sword and that hand up and say, no, not right now. I'm focused on me and I'm focused on uh, kind of uh, the world uh, in a more rational way in that manner. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, it is a really good time, I feel, for you to focus on your finance. I feel like finances for you right now are the basis of helping everything to progress in the way it should progress. So once you once you get that solid, I feel like you're going to be more open and allowing for any love in this situation to progress. So it's something to focus on here as a primary. And then the Nine of Swords here uh, tells me that, yeah, you might be a little bit worried and anxious around the situation. I feel it's around your finances, honestly. And what I would say around that Capricorn is just um, really focus in on, on that this week and make sure that that's feeling good, that's feeling secure, that's feeling under control. Um, and you're really feeling, uh, uh, I guess, um, progressive or progressed in that situation because I feel it's going to help relieve a lot of tension from every other area here. Okay. Now, we didn't get a lot, that's what I have for you today. We didn't get a lot about your person. We had the Hierophant, who's a possible person here. But um, I'm going to dive into the extended here. So the extended reading, if you're interested, will be in the description box below. And that, that's where we're going to dive into the energy of your person, how they're feeling, where they're at, how they think of you, and what the universe thinks about this union to get even more detail for you. Okay, so if you're interested in that, it'll be down, down below. And... Uh, uh, I, I will see you there. But uh, before we go, thanks again for supporting. 
And if you want continued daily and weekly updates for your horoscope sign and love and life, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the Soul Family. And do me a favor, if you like this video or found it impactful, be sure to hit that like button. It helps this channel and this video grow so we can guide more people. Finally, Capricorns, if you want to check out more of my stuff, uh, you can check out the Patreon link down in the description below. There we learn how to do astrology, tarot, uh, build a spiritual-based business, but I also give you personal readings on a monthly basis. Or you can be a, a YouTube channel member. You can hit that join button next to the subscribe button. And that's just weekly astrology teachings, tarot teachings, spiritual business teachings. And, uh, and yeah, you can find me on all the other social media down below as well. So anyways, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for supporting. I'll see you in the extended or next week. Bye for now.